What's up y'all? You checking out the frequent flyer and I'm out here with the King Kong Fly Egg 100 and I got the stock battery on it and this thing came with a JST connection on it. I see some people are getting these King Kong models with balance plugs on the end and I'm happy this one didn't come that way. Mine seemed to be coming with the JST connector. I did however receive a King Kong 95 GT and it has a balance co connector on it but uh, that was early on but these new mo newer models that I'm receiving are coming with the JST connector connector and I am switching them to XT30 but I've decided to let you guys see how this thing flies with a JST connector in case you didn't want to switch it so I do have a DSM X receiver in here, a satellite receiver. I have it mounted under the battery there with the antennas coming out the back. There I did put some heat shrink on the uh, antennas there. And that's what these blue wires are here. That's blue heat shrink on the antennas. And I got my Ishin monitor out here, diversity monitor. I got some hot glue on that uh, patch antenna there because that was coming loose. I had to re-solder it. And I just put some hot glue on there to try to uh, minimize the chance of it coming loose again. And this is a diverse, this is a diversity monitor, so you can see I have the mushroom antenna on it too, clover leaf. I believe it's right side polarized. Oh, and this VTX on here, I had a hard time finding in the manual or anywhere in the instructions on how to turn this thing to 100 milliwatts so it comes default on 25 milliwatt i believe but i i long held the button there it was flash it was constantly flashing green and then going to red now i held down that button and now it flashes green and then turns to blue so i'm hoping that that's not indicating that it's on if it's on a fat shark channel or not i'm hoping that that indicates that it's on 100 milliwatts so let's plug this thing up and get it in the air and see how it flies so we got it bound let me see if I can turn on the uh, diversity monitor here. Let's see if we can lock in. Okay, so trying to lock in on the signal. We got a good lock on the signal now. Let me hit record. Okay, so it's recording. Wow, I could barely see with all this uh, sun out here. Very sunny. But anyhow, wow, we have a huge truck coming too. But let's, let's take off with this thing. Actually, let's wait till the truck goes by. Okay, let's take off with it. We're in the air with it. Right off the bat, let's try a punch out. So the punch out is kind of weak. <laughs> Wobbled a little when I was coming down too. We're in acro mode now. So it seems comparable to the King Kong 90 GT. Feels like a really smooth flyer. Yep, it flies like the 90 GT. But this thing is capable of going 3S. I won't be able to try 3S until I switch this thing to XT30 because my 3S is XT30 that I have. My Nanotech, I converted it. Let's see if I can see the monitor well enough to fly it. FPV. 
Okay, let's try some FPV. It's pretty fast. And I think I did find the 100 milliwatt switch. Because there's hardly any breakup at all. Wow, this thing is flying pretty fast too though. A pole over there. I want to hit that. Got a little bit of breakup when I went behind the vegetation and all. We got the buzzer going off on this thing already. And I'm back over here. Yeah, it seems a little sluggish in its form, flying it with 2S here. Not a lot of power. But it's pretty fast though, I can say that. I just switched back to angle mode now. Yeah, this thing is fast, man. I think the weight of it allows it to fly faster. And we're in angle mode doing these speed passes right here, so. I'm pretty sure I can get it going faster and uh, if I fly it in acro mode, because you can pitch farther with it. I think I have the pitch and roll set to 80. And we got the buzzer going off. Oh, it stopped. I guess those funnels were making it go off. There it is again. And so that's it. A quick flight and FPV demo of this King Kong Fly Egg 100. It seems like these mo well these motors are, suppo are supposedly the same KV as the other ones on a King Kong 90 GT. And it shows, it seems like it flies the same way. It has the same smoothness of the 90 GT. It has the same power, it seems like. And the same punch and all. It seems like it flies a little faster, maybe. And I think uh, maybe because when you're pitching forward to fly fast, I think you have to give throttle. The throttle is proportional to the weight, how much weight you have. You might have to give it more throttle. And so it might take more throttle to stay in the air level pitched forward like that because this is heavier than the 90 GT and I think that's why this thing flies faster because you're giving more throttle to keep it in the air pitched that way because of it being heavier and so this thing has blazing speed it seems a little faster than the 90 GT but the same power but this can take an, a 3S battery so we're going to throw a 3S on this next time and see how that how this thing flies we're also going to try some different props i'm anxious to try the quad blades on this the gym fans so it's the king kong 100 that it's the king kong fly egg 100 thanks for watching